Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Downtown Bikini Bottom Part 4. Continuing where we left off, we just entered the lighthouse. Now here we have a new objective. Ambush in the lighthouse. So we need to fight our way down the lighthouse, defeating all the robots. Now we gotta jump down to the next section. Now as we go down the lighthouse, it will gradually get harder and harder. As you can see, there's a stone tiki here. It will gradually break the floor and go down. Just take note of those for now. Oh, that was very lucky with the robots killing each other. Now you can see the room's getting bigger and bigger, and that the floor is now rotating around in a circle. Once you get enough of these stone tiki's built up, you can use this to just hide from the enemies to get your bearings. Get a bit of a breather up here since they can't attack you. Once you reach the bottom floor, quickly activate the Thunder Tiki before the Stone Tiki's cover it. That will destroy all the Stone Tiki's in the center. There sure are a lot of robots down here at the bottom. And there are two Duplicatotron 1000s to break. So make sure you destroy them or you'll just keep fighting robot after robot indefinitely. Now once you defeat all the robots, the electricity will go away. So now we can collect our last steering wheel and the golden spatula. Okay, first I'm gonna go over and collect the last steering wheel. So now we can go back to Mrs. Puff. But before we do that, make sure you hit the switch. Now we just gotta bounce back up to the top and make sure to collect that sock. So use these trampolines to bounce back up. Now this leads back to downtown rooftops. But go back to the bottom and collect the golden spatula. This completes the objective ambush in the lighthouse. So 
now we can go back to downtown streets from the bottom door here. You'll have to open this door from the inside. I just did that, Bubble Buddy. Now before I go back to Mrs. Puff, I'm gonna go ahead and just break the tiki's around town just to get some more shiny objects.
Okay, let's switch back to SpongeBob and go back to Mrs. Puff. We'll use the sponge ball to move faster. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there was these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was. Okay, okay. Sorry, I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. So go ahead and collect the golden spatula. This completes the objective end of the road. Now as you can see, we only need the last golden spatula and one more sock. Sadly, we need to come back for those with the cruise bubble move. So now let's go back to Bikini Bottom. Now I'm just gonna go around and break these tiki's again to get some more shiny objects. Okay, next, let's go to Patrick and give him back some more of his socks. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. Okay, now let's go over to Mr. Krabs. Cash in some of those shiny so, objects. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. And the next one for Mr. Krabs costs 4,000. And look at that, we have enough. So let's go ahead and get another so, golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. For a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. And the next one for Mr. Krabs costs 4,500 shiny objects. Okay, next we will be going to Goo Lagoon over here for 10 golden spatulas. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And this will be the end of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Downtown Bikini Bottom, Part 4.